New reports say the mother of one of the Boston Marathon bombing suspects might have been discussing jihad with her son in 2011. A U.S. official close to the investigation reportedly told CNN that Russia had intercepted communication between the mother, Zubayda Tsarnaev, and someone else. They suspect she was speaking with her late son, 26-year-old Tamerlan Tsarnaev. He was killed in a shootout with police just a few days after the tragic bombings in Boston. His younger brother, Joe Carr, is currently detained and undergoing medical treatment. As for their mother's alleged conversation with Tamerlan, the source said the conversation was vague. Source said Russia recently turned over the wiretap intercept to the FBI. The FBI did interview the mother in 2011 as part of the investigation into the older brother. The Sarnaya family is originally from Chechnya, a region of Russia notoriously known for its terror and violence. According to Policy Mike, Chechnya-linked terror groups have been involved in at least a dozen attacks since 1999. Russian officials suspected Tamerlan of having ties with extremist groups, but that case was closed after several months. His mother was reportedly added to a suspected terrorist watch list along with Tamerlan. And Tamerlan's record revealed he was a suspect in another killing in 2011. A triple homicide. Three men were found in an apartment with their throats slashed and their bodies covered in marijuana. Authorities never identified any suspects, but believe two other men were involved. After all of this, the question still remains if any red flags were missed by U.S. officials that could have given them a clearer indication Sarnayev was a threat. New York Republican Representative Peter King spoke out on Fox News. He did go to Russia for six months, which is an extended period of time, and you would have thought that would have prompted the FBI to look back. They investigate him, they clear him, and then they go out and carry out terrorist murders. Is this a but CBS correspondent and former FBI assistant director John Miller says these sorts of requests from foreign governments are, quote, fairly routine. They typically involve interviewing those close to suspects and in-depth searches through intelligence databases to see if the suspect had any connection with known terrorists. The suspect's mother is currently in Russia and reportedly wanted on felony charges of shoplifting and destruction of property in Massachusetts, where the parents lived until last year. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.